Hello, today I'll be showing you how to use the package, uh, the RCDK and the RPopCam and the Gplots to create to download uh, compounds from the RPopCam bioassay and using the keywords and collect uh, the compounds from the bioassay data and the active ones and then uh, generate fingerprints, generate a similarity matrix and then plot the similarity matrix as a heat map as you are uh, watching here on the on the right hand side of the screen. To do, uh, to do it, uh, first of all you need the libraries rcdk, the gplots and rpopcam. So go to the uh, go to the uh, 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 cdk website and just uh, this is the cdk r RCDK website and learn like you can learn a lot of things what RCDK is capable of generating fingerprints and everything and this is the vignet here so a lot of examples are given so for the R pop game you need to uh, you need to go to the CDKR Ajishikuha's GitHub account CDKR R pop game and R and get assay.r the R pop game is developed by Ajishikuha and even the RCDK so first of all you need to copy copy this for this, uh, all these lines of code here and then you need to uh, source this code here, uh, here uh, and copy and paste it down here and on what, what you uh, what other thing you need to do is to uh, uh, yeah so here uh, you'll find canonical smile in the main package you need to convert the canonical smile to canonical smiles because the header to get all the uh, when you use the get cid it will uh, the header is canonical smiles so you need to change the canonical smile to canonical smiles and then just source it here yeah the whole package get, got sourced so first of all first of uh, I uh, use a query here uh, dihydrate dehydrogenase and malaria so this query will list me all the AIDs uh, which contain this query using this find assay ID function so this uh, this uses the rpopcam this is from the rpopcam uh, package and then uh, you create a data frame IMT data frame where you will add the, all the AIDs into a single data frame and the copy all the popkim CIDs into a single data frame along with the activity outcome. So uh, I used 1 to 50 and since it list uh, you can see here I listed almost 9 so it listed around 99 AIDs but uh, for, uh, but I want just the top 50 AIDs so I, I set a loop and then give uh, for each uh, AIDs I just collect the CID and the activity outcome uh, of this assay and I bind the data row bind the data and get the final uh, data frame in the data so then I filter the comp uh, filter the compounds uh, which shows only the activity outcome as active here then collect those uh, CIDs and then using the get CID function and collect the smiles uh, from the popkin uh, API so after getting all the active CA active compounds then uh, you can see here I run the command here and when I do a head of head active CMP which lists the six compounds it shows the CID IPAC team canonical smiles and molecular formula and everything all these properties also uh, for this you also uh, now uh, using the R C D K, we need to parse the smiles so I parse the smiles using the third uh, column so active C CMP is the, uh, the active compounds and I just parse the smiles here then uh, for the fingerprints I created a vector cmp.fp and So uh, just create a vector of cmp.fp or something else you, you, you can should be a list and then 
just run it and then you have to generate the fingerprints for uh, for all the active smiles so I use max keys you can use extended uh, which is uh, 1024 with a depth of 6 you can see it on the RCDK manual and once I run it after I run it uh, the calculation is finished so then I convert this uh, matrix uh, man these vectors in, into a matrix form so let me show you how does this uh, looks so it contains the smiles and the length and it is folded the source and the bits which uh, which is which is on uh, uh, which, which is set as on in the extended uh, type of uh, uh, fingerprints so to convert it to a matrix form uh, and then calculate the similarity you have to use the fp.sim.matrix uh, function uh, will convert it to your similarity matrix form When this is done, then you collect the data for the distance uh, using one minus FB sim. Uh, so the distance is calculated, and then to the hierarchical clustering of this two of this data. So this is a base function, and just you just need to call each cluster on the on the on the data set. So remember, like after calculating the FB disk. You have to set it as distance h h class uh, accepts and uh, a distance uh, for a class of files so just as does this you just put it uh, into the h class function and there's various methods of uh, a hydra clustering i'm using the single for a method so after the h class is done then call the heatmap.2 function so I'll remove this image and heat my block two it will generate you the image uh, along with the hierarchical uh, pattern on the on the height and on both the sides of this of this image. So see uh, the color key is also given and I most mostly I'll provide you the code online and it's just very like some few lines of code around 10 or 12 and you can see the distribution of the similarity uh, scores uh, here so mostly it's like above uh, 0.6 and shows that mostly the compounds uh, in the data set uh, active sets which are gates that th or dh are very similar or in the biases they are really pretty much similar uh, you can study very large biosets but to generate the heat maps of large it uh, takes a lot of uh, cpu time and uh, uh, memory also so i would suggest you if you have around uh, 500 or so compounds or maybe not more than 500 you can use this to to, uh, to see the distribution of the compound similarities as a heat map image there are many other ways to generate the heat map uh, you can use ggplot and uh, you can use uh, the heat map uh, library and all but uh, but this is uh, it's up to you what you want to use uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, this video thank you